Hey everyone, this is Toy Ninja from ToyGander.com and today we're going to be opening up and reviewing Marvel Select Deadpool Special Collector Edition Action Figure. And this really, I want to do this video in preparation for the new upcoming film in 2016. Uh, Deadpool, Ray Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, excuse me, is reprising his role as Deadpool and I'm really excited about it. I've always thought that uh, Deadpool is a really cool character. He's got like size, he's got swords, he's got guns, um, and he just looks really cool. Like if you look at his suit, he just looks cool. He looks like Spider-Man, but just way cooler. Um, so I want to do a video about that. And I'll tell you, growing up I knew nothing about this character. I just thought he looked cool. Every once in a while, once in a while I would go to the comic book shop and I would see uh, posters hanging up of him and really didn't really look into it. Uh, as an adult, I kind of found out a little bit more about him, and he became more popular. But um, I guess he is a very skilled marksman, uh, skilled in martial arts. Uh, he can regenerate, his, like limbs and head and and tissue. Um, and I guess when they originally created him, he was a total ripoff of a character in DC named Deathstroke. And um, you know he. Uh, Deadpool is completely aware of that. He's one of the few characters that can break, break the fourth wall and is completely aware of him in that he's in comics and, and video games and TV and whatnot. So that's super cool. But uh, I just saw this character. I saw him online. He was $19.99 and I wanted to get it because um, I'm really excited about the new movie coming up. So let's stop talking about it and let's jump right in and take a gander. This box is huge. Marvel licensed product. I think this is so funny like I, I look at this um, this picture here and like he looks totally cool and then you look at his feet and something just doesn't seem right it looks like he's standing bow-legged or something I just I looked at them like all right if you're going to make a toy and it's gonna look this cool at least take a picture of it even like if you're gonna take a picture with a feet cut off or something either way it looks kind of cool up front. All right. Let's see what we got here. This is the backdrop. Let's see if we can set this up first. Wow, I I have to say that this is really weighty. Like, it's, it's got a decent weight to it, and it's very nicely done. I mean, very detailed. Kind of surprising. I mean, most toys like this, like with a background like this, I would think would cost more than $19.99. It was like the most heavily guarded toy I've ever unboxed. Wow. <clears throat> so I have to say, again, the, the quality on this is so great. Like, this is, you know, most toys that you get, they're kind of flimsy and, um, you know, they're kind of hollow inside. Or you, you just feel it, the weight of it. This guy, he's got some weight to it. I'm really shocked on that. Um, pretty decent articulation on his arms. Very bendable. His hands turn around, they're a little bit loose, but um, like, I don't know if a human being could do that, but still, pretty cool. I mean, you, you can really pose him in any position you want. And like, he's got a lot of stuff going on here. 
like a grenade probably, a knife. It almost looks like you'd take that out, but I don't think you can. It's got a clip right here. Oh, he's got spots in the back of them for swords. Oh, that's cool. Got across them. <clears throat> and, hold on, let me, I think these come out. Yeah, these sides actually come out, I think. These pistols. Let's uh, change out these sides. Stuck in there with rubber bands. And maybe you could put these sides on the side. Oh, yeah, they fit. That's pretty cool. And it like perfectly fits in there. Same thing with this, this comes out as well. Now, one thing is. Uh, I read up online that uh, he has a magic magic satchel or um, belt here that enables him unlimited ammo for his guns. I thought that was pretty funny. I know another thing about uh, Deadpool is he loves chimichangas, which I've personally never had. I don't even know if they're a real food. They sound like a real food, but um, I know that's one of his favorite things. Wow, I mean, guys, this is really impressive. I mean, they did a nice job. They did a nice job on shading. Um, very, very neatly sculpted. And I think this was sculpted by some famous sculptor or something. Uh, let's see. Gabriel Marquez. Not too sure who that is. But uh, he did a nice job. One of Deadpool's other name is Merc with a Mouth. Because he, he's such a wise cracker. He's always cracking those jokes. I mean, they even went all the way around. Really nice detail on these uh, holders right here. And his feet don't look as ridiculous as they do in that picture. Like, his feet, I think, look pretty cool. I'm going to try and stand him up on this thing. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, they, they put one hole on this, this thing, this backdrop to hold him up. However, he's so heavily weighted that when you put his one foot in the hole that um, it, it he's so heavy, top heavy, that uh, it's hard for him to stand upright. But overall, really good quality and I think that looks pretty cool. Just want to switch this out because I want to see if this could, could stand his hands. He has so many accessories that go with him that if I want to take him out and just have him hold these, I, like his size, they have to go somewhere. Maybe they'll fit in with here. No. He has just so many accessories that uh, they won't all fit on him as one, at once. Uh, come on, reach. Hold the bottom of the gun. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, nah, that's a tough one. You can hold it with one hand, though.
Well guys, that is the unboxing and I was I was playing a little bit with the uh, different accessories, trying to mix some stuff up and I was trying to stand them up, move them around and I totally get like on the back of the box why they have him and on this on this looking like this with these weird feet. And like I was mentioning before, he is very solid. Like the top half of him especially is is a really solid piece. And because they only put like one peg on this backdrop to hold him hold himself up, he kind of like flops over a little bit. And it's not quite as steady as some other toys. And even I tried to take him off and, and set him up just on, on a normal ground without any pegs. And it, he could barely stand. He can stand, but it's not very sturdy. So that, that would probably be my only gripe with uh, the toy. But other than that, I mean, fantastic build, tons of different accessories. I was very impressed with the amount of accessories that came with this. Um, a lot of stuff for $19.99, you can't beat it. Very detailed, very cool. And I just, like I said, I wanted to do this video because I'm really excited about the new movie coming out February 2016. And uh, unfortunately, it's probably going to be rated R, so it won't be appropriate for, for children. But uh, overall, I think it's really going to be cool. I saw the trailer. Um, online and I know Ryan Reynolds like personally put out like a million or something so to to make the trailer so Hollywood would actually purchase the film to make it because I think after a couple um, couple of those little darker movies uh, they're a little bit weary but um, that is my my unboxing and toy review and i want to thank everyone for watching please subscribe to our videos and we much appreciate it and until next time you can help us take a gander hey everyone thank you so much for liking and subscribing to our videos don't forget about our monthly drawing where we give away free toys the details and descriptions are below